Me a Korea boo, girl, bye. Hey, it's the girl La La Sassy Adventures here, and welcome back to my channel. I've been YouTubing consistently for the past 10 months, and one thing that I've learned is if you want to be a YouTuber, you kind of have to get used to hearing the same questions over and over and over again. So I took the liberty of compiling the 10 questions that I receive over and over again that I am so tired of answering. Sis, if you ask me any one of these 10 questions after today, you need to send me your address, okay? Because I just want to talk, you know what I'm saying? I just want to have a personal conversation with you. Now, this is a question that I get all the time, and it really makes me wonder, what kind of bus did you take when you were a child? Was it a little short one? Did you break up with your boyfriend? Huh? I got like five videos with the dude. Sometimes those comments, I do reply, and I'm just like, Sis, what are you talking about? And they never respond. Y'all out here confusing bitches. Let me tell you something. It was, no, oh my God. It was like a couple months ago and I deleted, I didn't delete it, I archived. I archived a lot of pictures off of my Instagram so that I only have like 20 pictures. And people were like, oh my God, uh, Lala deleted all her pictures of her man. They broke up. <laughs> And if I did, y'all would know about it because I'm the number one pimp, L. I look so weird without my contacts, right? I feel like my eyes look small. Like my actual, because I'm used to wearing like my circles, circle lenses. Are they circle lenses? Yeah, they are, I guess so. I'm used to wearing my circle lenses, so now like my eyes look really small. It's, it's so weird. Like, oh my God, this is what my eyes look like? I don't like that shit. Can you talk more about Korea? No. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this question. Like, I look in my comments, I always get like that one or two or five people. Uh, can, can you talk about Korea again? Can, 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 talk about Korea again? Okay? And I'm just like, yo. I literally talked about Korea at least one to two times a week for the past 10 months. One to two times a week for 10 months straight. And I barely miss a week of YouTube. Like every now and then if I'm sick or I'm extremely busy, I'll miss a YouTube week. But I literally talk about Korea nonstop. And I'm not saying that I'm never gonna talk about Korea again. Because I live here. Ain't nobody got time for that. I wanna talk about my thought stories. Let me talk about the time that I dated an NFL player. Can I talk about that? Like, like let me do something different. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk about Korea every day. I say I don't want to talk about... Are you a Korea boo? Actually, this is not even a question I get. This is a comment I get sometimes. And people are just like, Korea boo in the comments or whatever. You fucked up. What is a possible reason? Like, one possible reason why I would be a Korea boo. Like, I, I'm not understanding the link. So... Actually, it's so funny because when I first started making videos, my very first like big video was the Korean boys or naughty video. Honestly, I had no idea what a Korea boo was. I made that video because I was bored at home after work and I was like, whatever, let me just make a video, whatever, put it on the internet. I didn't think anybody would ever watch that video. <clears throat> and I look in the comments and I see all these people talking about some ARMY and BTS and Sugar, and Dane, and Nanja. And I'm like, yo, who are these people? And what, whose army? Whose army? I, I'm not in the army. I'm not in the Air Force. And I'm definitely not a Marine. So what are they talking about? And people are like, any armies here? And I'm like, oh shit, I got military people watching my videos now. Okay, that's cool. I mean, that's what's up. And I somehow managed to attract a bunch of people who are obsessed about Korea. I didn't even know these people exist. But I noticed that every time I posted a video, it was all about like BTS and, and like people in the comments were going off about K-pop and K drama. I don't know. I was like, who are these people? I don't know who they are. What are they, what are they talking about? I didn't learn like real quick what that shit was. But um, yeah, no, I. Mm. Me a Korea boo, girl bye. Number five. Why are you in Korea? I am in Korea because I'm a teacher. I started off as a elementary school teacher. 
with Epic, teaching at a public school my first year, and then I moved to Ahaguan, so I'm teaching at an academy, so I teach middle school and elementary and preschool kids, so I teach literally everybody. I've taught adults English, I've taught adults uh, ESL back home in USA, I've taught adult ESL here, babies, kids, teenagers, I teach them all. And I really enjoy it. I really enjoy teaching. Actually, I have to make a video about um, like what it's really like to be a teacher in Korea. Take a video of you teaching. No! My students' parents pay big money, big money to send their kids there. It's a business. I can't just like show my kids without permission. And I also can't just go up to my boss like, hey, so I'm a YouTuber and I talk about all kinds of wacky content from big sizes to naughty Korean boys. By the way, can I show our children on my channel? No, my God, I would get fired so bad. Girl, who does your hair in Korea? The answer is M. I do my own hair. I don't know if you have been on another planet this entire time, but I am a huge advocate for wigs. I'm a wig lover. I'm a wig connoisseur. I collect wigs. I just put it on my head, okay? It's just like a hat. You just, whoosh, okay? There is a lady that I go to named Miss Chu. She's Korean, and she works right outside of Camp Walker in Daegu, exit four or gate four. I go to her when I want my hair washed and straightened, my natural hair washed and straightened. She does a relatively good job and she's relatively cheap. Will you stay in Korea forever? <laughs> I don't know. Can I be honest? Can I be all the way 100 right now? Korea is not the place that I want to spend the rest of my life if I can help it. This is not, this is not magical fairy dreamland for me. I did not come here, I was like, oh my God, I need to stay here forever. Things can always change. I can always change my mind. I could always end up, you know, getting into some project or finding a job that I really like. Not saying that I hate Korea. There's plenty of things that I love about Korea, but there's plenty of things that I just can't get with, right? And I'm not really, fully submersed in Korean culture. I'm not submersed in Korean culture whatsoever. So it makes it a lot harder for me. There's some things about myself and my background and my lifestyle and my American ways that I just do not want to give up. And I don't want to, I don't want to be an outsider of Korean culture for the rest of my life. But I also don't necessarily care to drop all of my values and stuff to fit into Korean society for the rest of my life. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So. That's up in the air. When are you coming back to USA and what will you do? Also, uh, once again, I have no idea. I do plan to come back and visit next year because I miss home. I've not been home so long and I miss my mom. I miss my family. I miss my best friend. Can you do another meetup? I do plan to have another meetup. That last meetup was lit. If you were there, once again, shout out to you because we got all the way turned out. We were playing Crazy True for Dare. I have bottles. Everyone was taking shots. We were just having fun. Like we went to the club. We got turned up. Yo, that shit was lit. So when I do have another meetup, I'm gonna let all y'all know. Make sure you come out to the meetup. Make sure you get turned with me because you know I'm the turn up queen and we're gonna have fun. Tuffles. Do I need a tuffle? Do I need a tuffle? Do I need a tuffle? Girl, if you ask me about a tuffle one more time, it is on and popping, okay? I'm so tired of talking about a tuffle. <laughs> let me tell you something. I have three months left of my teaching contract. I got my TEFL over two years ago, so it's been quite a while. I'm gonna say this one time, okay? You need a TEFL, 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 okay? Okay, that was like 14 times. If you're gonna teach for Epic, you need to get a TEFL, okay? Now, it does not matter what kind of TEFL you get. All right, it really doesn't matter. You can get a $5 TEFL from motherfucking Groupon. I saw a girl literally spend $15 on an online TEFL and got placed and sold. Meanwhile, I spent $1,000 on a real TEFL with in-class hours, with 60 in-class hours. It took me one month to get this TEFL, and I did not get sold. But 
The thing is, if you teach for Epic, you want to teach in Busan, the only way you can teach in Busan is if you have one of the expensive ones with actual in-class hours. That is the only way you can teach in Busan. That's why nobody really comes to Busan. Everybody goes to Seoul or Daegu or whatever city, whatever. So you need a TEFL. If you're gonna work for Hagwon though, I have news for you. You don't need a TEFL. You don't need one. You don't need one. You don't need one. Epic TEFL. Hagwon, no TEFL. I will link to my other video, okay? My older video where I have literally every link for every piece of paperwork and every process of the teaching process <laughs> if you ask me one more time girl we're gonna have some problems that's all i'm saying okay you're gonna have to meet me outside thanks for watching i hope this was helpful i hope this was insightful and please keep in mind if you ask me any one of these 10 questions you are liable to catch a wwe stone cold steve austin drop kick from myself okay free of charge subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and yeah i'm gonna go because my camera's dying bye